Welcome to this video lecture for your marketing management class at Gateway Technical College. In this video lecture, we will introduce you to the PharmaSim simulation. Some of the tools that are available to you, the user, is a student manual. We have some resources on Blackboard. We will show you the interpretive website where you can find the lecture. And then we'll talk about the additional video lectures that are going to be available for this simulation. First, let's look at the student manual. A copy of the student manual can be found on Blackboard in the Resources tab, and also can be found through the interpretive website. If you want to find the resource on Blackboard, you go to the Marketing Management course page, click on the Resources tab, and click on the folder titled PharmaSim. Now once you get to the folder, you'll see that there's four files in the folder. There's three files that were produced or created by the interpretive uh, company that puts the simulation together, and then the student user manual. The student user manual is probably the most important of these documents even though all the documents will help you. Uh, the Decision Aids PowerPoint is a 52 slide PowerPoint. I kind of pick and choose some highlights and uh, some of the other video lectures that I do in regards to making decisions, but we'll talk about that later. What I would recommend you doing with the student manual and the PowerPoints is to right click on the PowerPoint or on the file Save the link as, and find some place to save the file. You have to read the student manual before you start the simulation. Let me stress it again. You have to read the student manual before you start the simulation. It's important that you read a the manual because the case itself is inside the manual this is not an easy case and so for you to understand your role within the scenario and the decisions that are being made and what the decisions are doing now this is very complex you're making decisions throughout all of the components of the marketing mix and so if you, for you to truly understand what you're doing you have to make sure that you're reading this student manual uh, two of the key things that the student mail is going to allow you to do is going to give you the case and it's going to give you an understanding of what decisions you are responsible for. Another tool that obviously is going to be available for you is the interpretive website. And so if you go to the site, I've got it pulled up here. If you go to interpretive Dot com. It will take you to this page. I have entered the login and password from one of the student accounts. And once you become logged in, you get to this page. Now, if you click on the find your way around, that gets you to the student quick start guide and a flash uh, tour of the the site. You can read the manual here, where it allows you to read the student manual. This is the same, the exact same file that is on Blackboard. You, everybody who is in the simulation needs to take the quiz. And so you want to make sure that you take the quiz for the simulation. And then after you do that, you want to access the simulation. You want to look at the schedule. Uh, the individual practice round was set from February 25th to March 1st for this specific uh, simulation. Then from the simulation schedule, you will see that each decision is due on a specific date. The one thing to understand is there's no restarts or replays available. What that means is after March 9th, you can no longer access decision one. Because what I will do is I will run the numbers after March 9th and you'll get your statistics. You can't really make decision two dis 
a decision two choice until I run those numbers from decision one because it's going to spit out new numbers for you. What did your previous numbers do? Then you're able to make the next decision. And so you want to make sure that you're planning your schedule accordingly to be on time with each of these decisions. You'll see in the bottom it says complete peer evaluation. I did not team you in this specific simulation with other people on a team. Now you may, in other semesters, I may decide to put you on teams. If you are in a team environment, you will complete the peer evaluation. Okay, so now we have looked at all this information. How do we access the simulation? I'm going to click on the link here, Access Simulation. And this will say, you are currently a member of Live Play 03. In the simulation, please refer to the home page for specific instructions on your simulation schedule, what we just showed you. And so you click on Launch Farmer Sim. And this gets you to the entire simulation. You'll see here, we've got your stock price, period, which period are you going to be making a decision for, and then startup, briefing, case, glossary, decisions, Salesforce pricing. Up here, startup is the case itself. Um, this is all information that's available in the student manual. And then here under decisions, these are all the different decisions that you potentially will be making. There will be other video lectures that will talk about each of those decisions specifically. Decision analysis, what's your budget allocation, what if, and test markets. We will go through that information in a separate video lecture. Company, this is where you have your dashboard. And this is really your data or statistics that you're looking at. Performance summary. Income statements. And product contributions. You have marketing research data. If you see that there is one that's got a dollar amount next to it, that means it is something that you have to pay for out of your budget allocation. Different surveys. And then advance to the next period. There is incident for this period. You must enter a decision in the special decision screen before you can advance. And so for period one, you have the social media incident. And so for each period, there will be an incident that you have to submit and you'll be graded on how you submit those incidents. And so this is the interaction piece. So once you, if you go to decisions, we go to pricing. It's saying now we currently are budgeted for 39.3 million. Estimated cost per unit is $1.24. Manufacturer's suggested real price is $5.29. Now I can go in here and I can change my manufacturer's suggested real retail price um, based on my decision. Do I want to keep it the same or do I want to change it? We'll go through each of those decision areas individually uh, through multiple video lectures moving forward. But as you can see here, you are going to be making Salesforce decisions, pricing, advertising, promotion, creative design, uh, specials, decisions. Those are going to be your incidents. And you are going to report purchases. Do you want to purchase a survey, operating statistics, Salesforce, advertising, promotion, channel sales, and pricing? So that's kind of the simulation or how to interact with the site as a whole. Again, we are going to break down those individual areas in different video lectures. We talk about the processes involved. First, read the case. Cannot stress that enough that you need to read the case. Number two, understand 
what they are asking for in the decisions. How do decisions affect your operations? You want to make sure you complete the incidents and you want to make sure that you're planning out this entire process. So you want to make sure that you are scheduling your time effectively to make the decisions. The text refers to anywhere between two to five hours to plan for each decision round. We talk about additional video lectures. Uh, we're going, you're going to see a video lecture specifically on the Pharmacin case. You're going to see a video lecture or multiple video lectures on decisions. You're going to see video lectures on the incidents that are going to be available. And you're going to see a video lecture on exchanging data. What the exchanging data one's going to be is how to interact with information incoming to the simulation and how to uh, enter your data into the simulation.